A just society has fair laws. But most societies aren't like that. So what can you do? The opponent of slavery, Henry David Thoreau, gave one answer in his essay On Civil Disobedience. Follow your conscience and break the law on moral grounds rather than be a cog in an unjust system. As he put it, let your life be a counter-friction to stop the machine. Influenced by Thoreau, Mahatma Gandhi championed non-violent civil disobedience, or satyagraha, in his campaign for Indian independence. In 1930, he organised a long march to the sea. By picking up a few crystals of salt from the mud, he defied a British law forbidding Indians from making their own salt, inspiring thousands. On a segregated bus in Montgomery, Alabama, in 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white passenger. She, too, was arrested. Her symbolic act of defiance helped focus the civil rights movement. Martin Luther King, Jr., another fan of Thoreau's essay, staged major protests against unjust laws affecting America's black community laws that were eventually changed as a result. More recently, climate change protesters and the Occupy movement have taken on the fight for justice through non-violent law-breaking. It's clear that civil disobedience isn't going to go away. There will always be laws that are thought to be unjust in every society across the globe. <laughs> <laughs>